All right. It being 5 p.m., uh, I will call this meeting to order. I am Stan Moulton, chair of the City Services Committee. And uh, this meeting is being uh, audio and video recorded. Uh, Laura, if you would call the roll, please. Sure. Councillor Moulton. Here. Councillor Labarge. Here. Councillor Dobbs. Here. And Councillor Rothenberg. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is there anyone uh, here who would wish to make public comment? I see only one other person, so I'm assuming the answer is no. Uh, we will move on then to, we have two sets of minutes uh, for both of our September meetings, uh, September 4th, which of course was prepared by Laura, and September 23rd, John Fry filled in. Did everyone get a chance to review those minutes? Okay. Yes. Uh, I suggest that we take them as a group if someone wants to uh, make a motion that they be approved. Yes, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of September 4th, 2024 and September 23rd, 2024. Okay, is there a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Motion made by Councilor Labarge, seconded by Councilor Dubs for approval of the two sets of minutes for the September 4th and September 23rd meetings. Any comments, uh, additions, deletions, or other changes? No, uh, Laura, roll call, please. Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Dobbs. Yes. And Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Thank you. That is unanimous. Those are unanimously approved. Okay, so we're now on to uh, three sets of uh, new appointments that have been referred to us by the City Council. The first set was referred on September 5th, and these have all been assigned uh, for interviews. So we're hearing reports tonight on these three candidates. And first up is John Schloons. And uh, Councillor Dubs, you interviewed John, so you will correct me on the pronunciation of his last name if that's needed. Yes, I, I think you got it right. So Thank you. Schloons, yes. <laughs> Yeah, um, so I, was, I had a lovely conversation with John Sloons over Zoom uh, to talk about his background, his interests, uh, his goals, and what led him to apply to the Central Business Architecture Committee. Uh, John moved to Northampton back in 2012 after his partner got a job at Bay State. They lived here for five years until, moving, until they moved down south where John pursued his studies in architecture, where he received his architectural license. Um, shortly after receiving his license, John and his partner decided to return to Northampton, uh, drawn back here by our accepting, supportive community, our lively, vibrant downtown, and our dog park. Wanting to be involved in uh, our city government in some capacity, John admitted that he applied to multiple committees, and the Central Business Architecture Committee was the first one that contacted him. <clears throat> John has been interested in architecture since a very young age. Uh, growing up in a house that was often under construction. He said that in his younger years, he was always building stuff and renovating, renovating houses. <clears throat> he first discovered his love for architecture during his time working in theater, uh, theater set design and construction. And then this led him, uh, this led to his interest in the construction and design of actual buildings in actual cities. Uh, John's experience living in multiple major cities and being in uh, so many different public spaces enhanced his interest and knowledge of urban design, des urban design. In terms of Northampton, specifically, John is particularly interested in the transition process of the Main Street redesign plan and wants to contribute in any way he can to support accessibility, bike safety, and local businesses uh, to ensure that it's a smooth and inclusive transition. Uh, in regards to the role that he sees himself playing if, uh, if appointed to the central business architecture, John believes that he will bring a design-driven, forward-thinking approach toward his work on the committee with a, quote, cohesive vision for downtown. <clears throat> John thinks that much of our old infrastructure is not accommodating, and he'd like to play a part in improving that. Uh, he also mentioned that he's a big fan of Summer on Strong, particularly in the way it creates an area of increased pedestrian access, and he'd love to see more areas like that created in other parts of Northampton. 
uh, given his expansive background, experience, and knowledge of urban design and architecture, plus his passion for accessibility and inclusivity, uh, I would highly recommend appointing John Schloons to the Central Business Architecture Committee. Second it. Okay, thank you, Councillor Dubs, for that very thorough report. That was a motion uh, for a positive recommendation made by Councillor Dubs, seconded by uh, Councillor Labarge. Is are there any questions for Councillor Dubs? No, nope. I think you did a very good job on that. Thank um, you, Jeremy. Oh, sorry, Councillor Dubs. Yeah, oh, you can call me Jeremy. Did you get a sense of how he was made aware of the opportunity to serve? Um. I think it was it, it came mainly from his interest in wanting to serve, and he he applied to uh, multiple committees, and this is just the one that he ended up um, hearing from and and being you know interviewed for. So um, yeah, I think that's basically just just a general uh, desire to to help. Great help Thank out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fairly common that someone who's interested in getting involved may apply for several. Um, committees. Um, and I think we saw that uh, recently in another applicant. In this case, I think the one that he's particularly a good fit with um, answered the call. So exactly. Yeah, it yeah. seems it seems uh, like a, a really good match. Any other questions? No, nope. I think he did an excellent job with that interview. Thank okay. You, Laura, roll call, please, on a positive recommendation for John Schloons for the Central Business Architecture Committee. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Dubs. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. And Councillor Moulton. Yes. That passes unanimously and we'll uh, go to the City Council on our, our next meeting, which is October uh, uh, 17th. Yep. Okay, next up is Rachel Flynn uh, Kasuba, who is a candidate for appointment to the Energy and Sustainability Commission. I interviewed Rachel. Um, she moved here uh, about a year ago with her uh, husband and, and young family from Boston. Um, uh, Rachel has uh, particular expertise and interests in uh, clean energy policy, uh, uh, particularly around electrification of both of housing as well as electric vehicles. And she's got professional experience in both. She has worked uh, for National Grid uh, for, in, in several different positions, but most, uh, I think most tellingly uh, in terms of, of what she would bring uh, to this uh, position in uh, working on their infrastructure that prepares um, charging stations. In other words, uh, National Grid will sort of lay the all the wiring so that a charger can be brought in and just plugged into a particular station. So she has experience with that. She currently she currently works as chief of staff for a startup called Revolve. Um, and it's based in in a lot of it's based in California. A lot of its initial uh, work has been with California-based firms, but it's hoping to uh, go more national and particularly to expand here in New England. And and Revolve uh, helps uh, firms uh, move their fleets to electric vehicles and it actually leases electric vehicles. So it's assessing the needs of a particular company that, that has, you know, has large transportation fleets and then matching uh, available vehicles to meet, meet those needs. So she's got a lot of experience working with electric vehicles. Uh, she also had, um, in terms of, of uh, sort of electrification, uh, she and her husband have uh, uh, done that with their with their home, which is an 1890s Victorian home. It's an old old building, obviously, on uh, on Lyman Road. So she she understands the process of of electrification, even though she's very knowledgeable about it. She still found it challenging. So one of her goals is to help people in the community who are 
looking to electrify their homes uh, to be able to to do that uh, in a way that uh, that makes makes sense in terms of reducing both both sort of meeting clean energy goals and also reducing uh, their energy use. So she brings that personal experience as well. Um, she moved part part of the reason why she and her husband moved here is to contribute to a smaller community. And uh, she figured that her experience would best be matched with uh, the Energy and Sustainability Commission. She's very aware of of, the, of Kappa, and she thinks this is an exciting time to be involved uh, with with that effort. Uh, she was introduced to Ben Weil, uh, I believe, by a mutual friend, and he actually urged her to apply for this uh, vacancy as one of the citizen members of Energy and Sustainability. As, as you know, that commission includes both city staff as well as, as citizens. Uh, based on her experience, her background, uh, her interests, uh, among other things, we talked about the need for equity and then make sure that uh, marginalized communities, lower income communities are not left behind or not overly burdened. Uh, I think she brings uh, a very well-rounded perspective to this position. And I think she will add significantly to um, energy and sustainability. So I would move a positive recommendation. I'll second that. Okay, that uh, motion made by uh, by me and seconded by Council Labarge for positive recommendation. Any any questions or comments, Councilor Rothenberg? Uh, Councilor Moulton, what was the reference to equity? Could you give me a little more context? It's uh, the, this candidate and and more biographical details. Uh, uh, we talked about um, some of the challenges in in meeting the city's sustainability goals, and I think she recognizes that uh, in terms of of equity that. Um, People uh, who have been, you know, who are uh, who, who of less financial means may find it difficult to make some of those conversions that will be necessary. It so found she her to be attuned to the needs of. Yes. OK. Oh, yeah. I mean, she she recognizes that as one of the the goals that she sees Kappa pursuing and by extension, then energy and sustainability, which will be you know, setting some, some, some guidelines for policies. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, yeah. Laura. Uh, yes. Go ahead. Council Labarge. Yes. Um, I think she makes an excellent candidate for this position. She is very experienced and I think you did an excellent job with interviewing her stand. And I'm happy to see that she's applied for this position because of her experience and knowledge. Yes, and, and I'm I'm happy that someone who's only been here for a year found a way to bring that expertise to in a meaningful way to a volunteer job that I think she'll contribute to uh, in, in, in a substantial way. So yes, I'm also very happy that she found this position. <laughs> All right, Laura, roll call, please, on a positive recommendation for uh, Rachel uh, Kas uh, Flynn Kasuba. Councillor Dobb. Yes. Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Councillor uh, Moulton. Yes. And Councillor Labarge. Yes. Okay, that's a positive recommendation. Passes uh, unanimously. Uh, and that will go uh, also to the City Council on uh, October 17th. Okay, um, so uh, the third candidate is uh, uh, Jasmine Goodspeed, who is a, uh, uh, an appointee to the Human Rights Commission, and uh, Council LaBarge, you interviewed her. Yep, thank you. She was wonderful to talk with. I cannot believe the experience that this woman has. I asked her what brought her to Northampton. She said she moved to Northampton in 2013 to live with my now husband. I asked her, what do you know about the Human Rights Commission? 
The Human Rights Commission is a place where selected members of the town of Northampton <coughs> speak about the future benefits of people who are not always accounted for in the general populace. The rights of PIPOC, future benefits of people who are not always accounted for in the general populace. The knights, the rights of PIPOC, LGBTQ, and other minorities are defended, and if not already, written into place for the town of Northampton. I asked her what interested her in applying for the Human Rights Commission. As a Nemec and a Jesus person residing in the town of Northampton, <coughs> excuse me, it is important to me that there is someone on the town council who reflects the Jesus worldview and can caution council members toward or against actions concerning indigenous people. Northampton, in her mind, needs to take more action towards reparation with the people whose land the town is on and the history that it sits atop. I asked her if there was particular issues that she was interested in working on. Indigenous reparations and BIPOC inclusivity. I asked her about her background. Her background is unbelievable, unbelievable. Community organization, public speaking. She can speak very, very well. Native relations, reparations and land back, grant writing and provisioning, problem solving, <coughs> social media, media and marketing. I have to say, I had a great talk with her. You want to talk about busy. Three times we called each other and talked. And she is so busy. She really wants to be on the Human Rights Commission. And I think with all this experience that she has, will make an excellent, excellent candidate for the Human Rights Commission. There's no question about it. I would like to make a positive recommendation for Jasmine Goodspeen to be appointed to the Human Rights Commission <coughs> to the full city council. Excuse me, I'm trying to get over this cold. Thank you, Council LaBarge. Uh, is there a second? I'll second that. Okay, motion made by Council LaBarge, seconded by Councilor Dubs for a positive recommendation on Jasmine Goodspeed to the <laughs> Human Rights Commission. Uh, thanks for that uh, very thorough report, Council LaBarge. Are there any questions or, or uh, comments? I would join Councillor Moulton and thank you for your great report. I also am excited about this candidate. Yes, thank you, Corbley. <laughs> okay, seeing no other comments, uh, roll call please, Laura. Councillor Rothenberg. Yes. Um, Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. And Councillor Dubb. Yes. Okay, that positive recommendation passes unanimously, and we'll also go to the City Council on October 17th. Uh, so that brings us to uh, our next set of, of uh, appointments. These are all new appointments. Uh, that were uh, referred on September 19th. Um, there are four. So I'm looking to have each of us uh, take one of these uh, for an interview. Um, the four are Devin Bruce to the Community Preservation Committee, Hannah Ray to the Historical Commission, and Douglas Thayer also to the Historical Commission, and Amy K. Lane to the license commission. Uh, now, one of these, uh, uh, Amy K. Lane lives in ward six and Devin Bruce lives in ward four. So if the ward counselors for those two are amenable to taking those two interviews, I'd yes, be, Council LaMarge. Yes, I would be very, very 
happy about doing Amy Caroline. Okay. So Council LaBarge will interview Amy Kaline. Uh Councilor Dubs, are you amenable to interviewing Deb and Bruce for the uh Definitely, yeah. C CPC? I was also going to say that I would be interested in in um interviewing Chris Palamas, but but um since it's because Council he's a Dubs, I I was gonna say I would be interested in doing a CPC interview. Okay. Put that out. Yeah, if you don't okay. mind switching, um, Chris Palamas is uh, was the former chair of the Disability Commission That's years nice. ago, and okay. um, he's he's a great uh, resident of Northampton. I'd be happy happy to interview interview him. Right. Okay. I, I think Jeremy Dubs would be excellent for Chris Palamas. Even okay. He's on my okay. ward. Oh, I know oh, Chris very well. Oh, okay. So Chris <laughs> Chris will come up in our our our, our last round of of. Uh, we're not quite yet to oh, those we didn't get two there yet. Sorry about that. who were referred last last uh, Tuesday. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, uh, Councilor Rothenberg, you are interested in the CPC nominee, uh, Devin Bruce. OK, thank you. Right. OK. All right. So. So just uh, a preview of coming attractions. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got these four and then we've got two more. So. Uh, if anybody, the, whoever's feeling particularly ambitious, these will all, I'm not going to have a second meeting of uh, city services in October. Oh. These will all be, uh, reported on, uh, November 4th, which is our next regular meeting. Um, so if anybody is feeling particularly ambitious to take on two of the six, uh, two of us can, can do that. So I'm still now, we're down to, um, we're down to the uh, the two appointees for uh, historical commission, which I'd like to get assigned. And uh, I would Ray. Uh, adding a historical commission to my list. Okay. Should be good for that. Anna Ray and Douglas Thayer. Thayer. Um, one lives in Ward Five. The other lives in Ward Seven. So, do you have a preference, Councilor Barge, or, or I mean, Councilor Rothenberg, about which? I will which take five. You'll take Hannah Ray. Hannah Ray, okay. Who's taking Deborah Deborah Bruce? Quite, quite, uh, Councilor Rothenberg is. She's going to oh. do those two. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So I will do Douglas Thayer. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so those four are assigned, and those will be discussed on uh, on November fourth. All right. So. Now we are down to um, the two ap uh, appointments. These also are new appointments that were referred last Tuesday. And just by way of explanation, um, I did check with uh, Attorney Seawall. Um, the charter states that uh, the City Services Committee cannot issue a recommendation on any appointment within a week after the referral. This is within a week. However, we can do background uh, uh, anything that's needed uh, to uh, to move it along. Uh, any background steps. So, if we were made, if if these were reappointments, we couldn't handle them tonight. But because they're not, we can assign interviews. So, uh, we have Richard Moore, uh, Meyer, um, who is a candidate for the Conservation Commission. Uh, he lives in Ward 7, and we have uh, Chris Palamas uh, for the Housing Partnership. Uh, Councillor Dubs has already expressed an interest in inter interviewing him. So uh, uh, <coughs> we will assign Councillor Dubs to Chris Palamas. Since Councillor Rothenberg took two in the last round, uh, Richard Meyer um, would be someone who either I or Council Labarge could could interview. I would prefer you to do it, Stan, please. I will do it. <laughs> okay. So I will take on uh, Richard Meyer for the Conservation Commission. So those um, also will be discussed at our next meeting on November 4th. That catches us up. Uh, so is there any new business? Okay, then I guess a motion to adjourn would be in order. 
I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second it. <laughs> okay, motion made by Council Dubs, seconded by Council Labarge. Uh, Laura, roll call, please. Count, uh, you're muted, uh, Laura. Count, Councillor Moulton. Yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. <laughs> Councillor Dubs. Yes. And Councillor Rothenberg. I hate to say goodbye so soon, but it's nice to see you all. Yes. Okay. Thank you for a very efficient meeting, everyone. Thank you for those excellent reports. Really appreciate it. We will uh, we will adjourn and see each other soon, I'm sure. All right. Stand in. Nice good, good, good night. Yes. If you Here. find that it's too much for you <laughs> or Richard Meyer, just yeah. call me. All okay. Right? Thank you, Marianne. Okay.